you know, one of the key topics was how to build a $5 million Amazon business. And I've sort of steered us a little bit off the course, but uh, I think maybe just to bring us back to that, um, you know, I shared in my experience growing from two to 5 million, the business was acquired. Um, just to share a little bit about the team structure that we had there and how it operated and, and how you can actually sort of leverage a team. So I can also try and pepper in with that, you know, from, again, go to the, go to the, um, go to the resource that's in the show notes and you can sort of, you know, fact check the numbers that I'm trying to, you know, I'll give you an approximation here, but, um, just to look at it. So when, when we're at $5 million in revenue, um, the team consisted of, we had a graphic designer, you know, we were a company that had, we had probably 30 SKUs, I would say 30 to 35 SKUs, uh, live. We had, um, we had one brand, um, called nature's blossom. I mean, you can see all this stuff online anyway, nature's blossom. It was a grow your own bonsai tree, uh, kit and that had sort of like 15 variations and there was a few other products that we had that were a little bit more complicated than that one but we had one full-time graphic designer that would work on everything from the um, you know EBC and A++ content and the listing images uh, and they you know you would hire today something like that between about $800 a month and I would say at the upper end maybe $1,300 a month for a considerable amount of experience for roles like that Honestly, unless you're quite a premium brand, you could probably get away with sort of the, the you know, more junior end of the spectrum because um, it's not typically the most complex of, uh, you know, of content, you know, not creating necessarily animation work or things that are really complicated. So we had a graphic designer. We had a customer support function, um, you know, as everyone here knows how important it is to respond quickly to anything that comes in on Amazon. So we actually had a team of three and the way we had structured it was that um, they were sort of like these eight hour rolling shifts. So we always had someone live that we could respond to in really uh, quick succession and and that was how we were, were, were building it. So actually I think it scaled out to five people in the end and for us, you know, we were getting quite a few inquiries so it was important so I would say take on or consider like how many uh, questions, you know, and reviews and things like that that are coming in that you actually sort of match those requirements. We had someone who was specifically dedicated to PPC. So there were full-time PPC campaigns, everything from the reporting uh, to the media buying itself. And, you know, we sort of built this balances and checks, if you will, to make sure that, you know, we were spending quite a bit of money, particularly around Christmas time on media. So that was something that we had a sort of a more watchful eye on. As a result, we had someone who was doing um, like the product research as well. So that was also a component. But at the start, it was sort of that hybrid role that I discussed a little bit earlier on. And that role also was about $1,000 a month, uh, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, we also had inside of it a, a brand manager. We had an Amazon brand manager. And they were the one who were responsible for really, you know, that would be inside of seller support or seller central rather, often in seller support, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, but they would be the ones who would be keeping an eye on anything that was going on and would also be sort of solving for a lot of the problems. That They were probably at about $1,300. They were a little bit more experienced, a little bit more senior, and probably at that time in the business, they were the most senior uh, team member. And I would say one really important role, and I knew this because I'd worked in agencies for 10 years before sort of stepping into an Amazon business was we had a project manager. 